Oh, welcome. Um, a midfield of it's gone. Uh, so, been a, quite an eventful week this week. And we'll get on to the midfield of it's gone. Um, you're out of contract. So, you were either going to sign it or you were going to go elsewhere. And it's gone elsewhere. Uh, yeah, hello and welcome. Uh, so, the playing question is Luke Thomas, attacking midfielder. Uh, Brock into the first team, you know, tends to be playing some decent football uh, the season that's just gone, but unfortunately due to uh, an injury and other things, he's gone elsewhere. So, Luke Thomas, uh, brought in for Rumi to be, it were in an undisclosed fee, but I think it's what's been banded about out from like £800,000 to like £1.2 million, pounds, so it could be a culmination of things. Just looking at his career, his stats and that, you know, he came to Barnsley, didn't really feature much, you know, he came in, did a, did a job and then he got loaned out to his town on loan. That didn't really work out due to personal issues and we all knew what they were, but, you know, we're struggling with his, his own personal well-being, his, his mental health state. He came back, went to Bristol Rovers where he found to find a bit of form seemed to find that he fell back in love with football again. And Dufair came, you know, he started um, in this campaign, ticking all boxes. They were getting some uh, rave reviews, you know, coming up with some uh, goals, assists and that. So it's, it's been like an integral part of uh, Barnsley. Uh, it's not like a new signing, if I'm being honest, when it started to click because we haven't seen him for a while. And unfortunate for him, he had a nasty, nasty training incident uh, where he went out for quite some time. Some people say when he came back, he won't really match fit, not match fit, but match sharp. He looked a bit off at pace, he didn't look at play that we knew. Adam Phillips obviously filled that void, but at the time that he were out injured, it seemed to be we were missing him terribly. Adam Phillips came in and then when he did come back from um, his injury, he played like a, a part on substitute Spence, coming on maybe and making a difference. But again, he, he wants he wants a first team regularly like he was previously before he had his injury. So again, we're at contract to end the season. Bristol Rovers, you know, they were him on loan previous. They've seen a you know some of the a player. I think he's believed to have signed a three a three year deal with Bristol Rovers. So again, good luck to the lad. Um, will it be missed? Unsure. I think if it, if I'd have said it before injury, would he have been missed? Yeah, he would have been missed. But I think that injury what he had, um, he just didn't seem to be a player. I don't know. You know, you, know, you might agree disagree on this. He didn't seem to be a player that he was. But I saw him when he came back. But who knows? He might go to Bristol Rovers. Ever you know, blind of the season, be back to back to his normal son again. So, um, but the main thing is for me in all of this regarding football, above football. Is a, a player is happy to play football uh, with all the mental health awareness things going about in this world. We've got a player that's actually wanted to play and still be involved in the game. So, you know, I just wish uh, Luke Thomas all the best. Obviously, not when he plays against us, but um, I think about a bit second game at new season when we we're away at Bristol Rovers. But yeah, um, all the best for Luke Thomas. I want to thank you for his time he's spent for being at Bands Football Club. He gave his all, he made a difference, and it's time to move on. Um, let us know your thoughts about, uh, you know, Luke Thomas. Share your thoughts and be more than appreciated in the comments below. But Luke Thomas, Bristol Rovers, on a free transfer because he wrote a contract. Uh, once a red, always a red.